So tell me, when did you lose trust in the divine? When did you lose trust in the divine? Hey, I'm Rosemary Lonnie Knight. I am the Prosperity Minister. I help you regain the confidence to prosper. I help you leave behind the pain and the, the sad stories, the limiting beliefs of the past and rise victorious in your true design. Your true design life is one of freedom, of fulfillment. It's a, a financially abundant life and it is a love-drenched life if you are willing to claim it. Now, we show unwilling, we show unwilling when we lose trust in the divine. And for, for a lot of us, things happen. I know for me, one of, one of the days that I, one of the major events in my life where I did lose trust for the divine was when we had a car accident. As this was me as a seven, eight year old. I had, um, we had, all of us were in the car, as in my, my mom, my dad. My dad was driving, my mom and my siblings. So there was, my, one of the siblings was still in my mom's tummy at this point. Um, and the other, my baby brother was actually in my lap. We're in Nigeria. We don't wear car seats. We don't have car seats and all that. Oh, we didn't. I don't know if we do now. But <laughs> we didn't have car seats. I was carrying my baby brother and my sister was next to me and there was a house help or cousin or something in the car. So it was a full car. And, and then this car, um, I didn't even really understand what was going on, but it sat somersaulting. And next thing we know where I'm thrown out of the car, my brother is somersaulted somewhere else, basically. And I'm just thrown out of the car. And I, I just remember as this seven year old or eight year old, I can't remember exactly that I was, I was standing, I was thrown out of the car, got myself up, heard the car rev behind me. So I was like, vroom, and I'm thinking, they're leaving me, they're leaving me. And I'm turning around and realize, oh my gosh, the car is smaller than I am. Seeing that I'm seven or something at this point, the car has never been shorter than me, but the car is shorter than me. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, because my whole family is in the car. <laughs> Ultimately, and the car is kind of squashed. And oh, anyway, so that was an interesting moment. But the thing, the, the thing, and I only realized this a few years ago, the thing that really um, spoke to me at that point was, I was told because my father actually was the only one whose spinal cord broke in the whole accident. He was the only one that ended up um, paralyzed from his neck down forever, whereas the rest of us came out of the car fine. And I was told or people whispered, I don't know if I was told, but people whispered and I heard it um, that, oh, people had done some kind of black magic against him, some kind of juju against him. That's what we call it, juju, <laughs> okay? And because he was quite successful, because he was a rising star, in his company and he was like second to the, the the main managing director in this company that he worked for a pharmaceutical firm and um and so they'd done this juju thing against him so as to bring him back down and in that moment as a young child i got this thought in my head that if somebody can do black magic or a juju and the divine cannot stop that from happening then actually is the divine as powerful as i thought so that was one of those, that was one of those, I can tell you lots of other stories and I even talk about it in my, in my book, my deliberate, um, um, deliberate millionaire's confidence book, where I actually, one of the chapters is where the fuck is the divine when you need him, basically. <laughs> and, and, but that was one particularly significant one for me, where if that's the thought that lodged into my psyche that I didn't even realize was there because I've been spiritual since even before that accident happened, I've longed for the divine, but I didn't, I didn't realize that I'd put this thought in my head that the divine is not actually that powerful and is not able to take care of me when really happens. And I wonder when it happened for you, when you suddenly got this thought, and it might be even more recent where something just went wrong, something that you really thought was going to go right. And it just went freaking wrong. And it felt like you had been led and guided in this direction. And, and somehow now you're just abandoned and you feel really distant from the divine, even though you are someone who really longs for, for closeness. And I was speaking to a client about this even recently, because this happens to a lot of people where you get to, you so close to the divine and then things happen and it almost feels like, yeah, but where are you when these things are happening to me? And so there's a resentment, there's an anger that builds up. But the problem is we need the divine. We are created to be one with the divine, to, to do life in conjunction with the divine, to create with the divine, not as subservient slaves or anything like that. No, we, we are created, we're whole when we're connected to the divine. It's like a, an electric car trying to operate without without plugging into source at some point you're going to run out of steam so if you are walking around with these feelings of abandonment these feelings of being alone against the world it's going to be really hard to to prosper 
it's going to be very hard to prosper. You might maybe find some areas of your life that work because you're just kind of automatically just doing certain things. But for the most part, there's going to be this feeling of, I can't quite get past this certain level. It needs to be healed. It needs to be healed. I can't, yeah, each individual story, I can generally tend to, when I'm speaking to clients, when I'm speaking to people, I can tend to tell where, where, where is the issue because I know the divine is very steady, very constant. It's not, it doesn't always feel that way though. And I get that. But that's because we need healing to then start to see and understand what is actually happening in the unseen realm. You need to heal that for your sake. And what I found to do was, yes, to dive deeper into the divine, but then also to follow my leadings on who to work with, who to speak to, to not anybody, okay? I'm following, I'm following the, the, the divine, <laughs> the divine guidance, even though I don't trust it because ultimately that's my most, that is the, where else am I going to go? Where am I going to go? Where are you going to go? If you don't trust the divine, the creator of all, you're kind of doomed <laughs> because how can you trust anybody else? So for me, I know because there were times when I've, I've had to say to the divine that I have no idea why this is happening, but I know that I need you. I know that I, I, that I can't actually navigate life without uh, access to your guidance. So tell me what I'm supposed to do next. And then little by little, we work it out. Little by little, we work it out. Thankfully, I have such a relationship with the divine now that I know that even if I'm angry with him, <laughs> it's okay. We can work stuff out. Listen, you need to come and do life with me. Why? Because I can help you understand why things have happened in the way that they've happened. You can come into the Deliberate Millionaires Incubator. You can ask your questions. You can express exactly the way that you feel. One of the things sometimes about being surrounded, even if you're a spiritual person, you're surrounded by other spiritual people, you're not actually supposed to admit when things are not quite going the way that you would like them to. You're not supposed to admit that you sometimes have no faith. But you can come into the Incubators group and we can start to handle it. We can, I can support you in handling it and support you in drawing closer to the divine. No, I don't take the place of the divine, no. But I know that for some of you, you're actually being led to work with me in some way. And for you, so it's you that I'm speaking to. Follow the prompting, follow the nudges, don't delay. You need to be, you need to heal these pains, these limiting beliefs. This stuff needs to heal. There is another way to look at it. There is another way that is more empowering to you to look at it without you trying to force yourself into a, yes, I'm full of faith kind of box. No, really actually going through the pain of what is going, but then coming out the other side, not just staying in it forever. No, there is another way, but you have to be willing to come find that way. Come into the deliberate millionaires. It is speaking to you. There's a part of you that knows you need something to change because you know you're meant for something more than just kind of going through life. Well, there's more to you than that. So come into the deliberate millionaires. It is for driven spiritual people who know they're meant for more, who this is where you come to regain the confidence to prosper. This is where you come to ditch the self-doubt. You come to be part of a community of people. We're all going in the direction of peace and plenty. We all choose to expand and become more. Come and join us. Let's heal together. Let's expand together. Let's grow into greater prosperity together. You're not alone. Definitely not. You're just currently surrounded by people who maybe don't get you. And that's okay. Come and heal this relationship with the divine so that you can get the guidance and the and the and and the free i don't know free feeling inside of you to move forward powerfully you deserve to prosper you deserve to thrive will you allow yourself to share this video with somebody else there will be a link around this video somewhere click on it come and join and read through the page first be sure that it feels right to you, but then don't give in to doubt. Come and join in. Come and join the Deliberate Millionaires. It will change your life. Okay? Okay. So until the next time, 
much amazing love. As I said, share this with somebody else. There will be a link around the video. Come join in. Much amazing love. Bye. Go forth and prosper.